Hi, I'm Amy Moore in West Palm Beach, Florida, heading into Randy's Elite Fitness here to get my upper body pump on and prepping for the uh, Southeastern USA next weekend. So I'm here with my boyfriend and business partner, Dave Melnikoff. Uh, we're the co-owners of Fit and Psyched, and uh, this is where we train our clients. Today we're here because I'm prepping for the uh, Southeastern USA next weekend to compete in women's bodybuilding. Uh, Dave and I both have been competitive bodybuilders for how long? 25 years. 25 years. Me, not quite that long, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll, I'll go a little less than that. But I haven't competed in bodybuilding since 1999. I'm very excited. I'm working with Tony Racanelli. Um, he's been doing my contest prep for me. And I feel like I'm going to be in the best condition I've ever been in, so I'm really excited about that. And then uh, after the Southeastern USA, we're moving forward to the Nationals to compete in the women's physique for the first time. It's very exciting. I haven't competed in bodybuilding since 1999. Took some time off, uh, went back to school, uh, things like that. Um, life happened. And um, in 2007, I met Dave and uh, we both have obviously the same interests and same background, so we really connected on that level. And we decided we were going to start training again, get back in the gym, knock the rust off, and <laughs> see what we could do. And uh, we just started. We just started in. Just started training. 2007, 2008, 2009 rolled around. He decided he was going to give it a shot on the stage one more time. So uh, we, um, you know, the things that we had been working on the last uh, few years, 2008, 2009. Um, as far as you know, basically bringing up some of the pod, bo weak body parts and uh, doing some heavier lifting, trying to build back some of the muscle that was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, so I remember one of the first things that that I said to Amy in the gym was, as I was just back in the gym, I hadn't trained in a long, long time, and, and I said to her, I said the weights have gotten heavier through the years, <laughs> and um, so it's getting past that point. But in, in the back of my mind, um, I always wanted to do the Florida. You know, even though I had qualified for nationals and done the nationals, it was something that I wanted to do. Um, so this was an opportunity for me to to finally do that in 2009. Mm -hmm. And um, going there, I did, you know, I didn't expect it to turn out the way it did. Yeah. You know, it turned out really well. Um, you know, coming out of there with two first places and overall at the Florida State Championships, you know, kind of, you know, kind of took me back. You know, so so from then it's like, all right, let's let's turn it up a notch even more. And in, in prepping for that show, uh, he and I did the contest prep together for for his show that year, and um, we you know we went back to old school methods. You know, as yeah. far as training, diet, we we just went right back to the old school that we knew from the '80s. So, yeah. and it worked and it worked really well. Focusing on squeezing the muscle, get the blood in there. A little bit of flexing and posing in between sets. And I'm gonna move on to some back. Um, higher carbs, you know, it's believed in eating a lot of carbs, not not starvation diets, build the metabolism the, the way I was you know, taught by the guys that helped me, you know, eating a lot of food. Um, myself, I'm a, I eat a lot of red meat. Um, it's worked, worked well for me. Um, you know, each, each person is different. She, she does a little bit more cardio than I do, um, but we, you know, I start a, a long ways out. We both do. Yeah, Our, yeah we believe in, in a, a longer contest prep yeah. uh, rather than a you know quick 12 week. We right. we both prep probably 20 weeks at least. Um, this this year in prepping for the southeastern, I've been dieting all year basically. Um, started out in January and just slowly have uh, dieted down for the show. Squeezing each rep. So, um, like I said, you know, cardio, and again, it's individual for me. I have to do a little bit more cardio than, than he would have to do. Um, you know, as far as my diet, it's, it's lower in the carbs, um, carb cycling, you know, the normal things, higher protein. Um, right now, in preparation, I'm uh, carb depleting, like most bodybuilders do, and uh, we'll be carving up at the end of the week for that. The past Eight weeks, I guess, it's been a carb cycle, pretty much too low, one high, about 60 grams of carbs on a low day, 90 on a high day, a lot of protein. My protein's very high, a lot of fish, uh, which I'm very excited about. 
and uh, six, seven times a day. Yeah, eating fish like five, six times a day. Um, and at this point, zero carbs for a few days and uh, getting ready to carb up. Less fish, a little bit of beef in there. So um, looking forward to eating those carbs at the end of the week. <laughs> The, one of the big things that, that we try to do as far as leading by example is, you know, you, you go to any, any event in this sport and, you know, people superficially, they look good. That's what they do. They look good. But the emphasis on it, I look good, not who am I as, as a bodybuilder, as a representative of the sport. And we, we are just big believers in just, you know, staying humble. Um, and, and just representing the sport of bodybuilding in a respectable manner. Yeah. Uh, it's, that's Spreading the word of it, you know. It's, yeah. Um, a lot of our people that have competed are our first time competitors. You know, that we've, you know, that they've been maybe scared or intimidated by it. And, and we try to break those walls down. Um, that's a big thing for me. You know, starting out at 135 pounds, you know, I never forgot how it was to be yeah. 135 pounds and want to be bigger. Um, so, you, know, you kind of stay level-headed with it, and be an ambassador of the sport, that's the main thing. The business has been growing. We started it in 2009 after his, his wins at the Florida. And this year uh, has been the most successful yet. Every year I expect it to just keep getting better and better. Our team's really growing. Everyone that we've prepped for our shows this year, has they've all come in in their best condition ever. So we're really excited about that. Really excited. Yeah. Um, fortunate to have a, a nice place to, to run our business side of uh, Randy's Elite Fitness here. They, they've been great to us and, and been in, instrumental in, in the Absolutely, growth of our business. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. It's been a lot to us. Um, yeah, so it's exciting to see Amy come back to the bodybuilding stage. She won the uh, Ohio State Championships in 1998. 1998 to see her come back to that stage at, in Florida um, at, at a nice level at the Southeastern USA, and then to move on to the Nationals is pretty exciting. Yeah, I, I always wanted to do the Nationals. Uh, uh, my last competition was in 1999, the Indianapolis. I won the overall there. Um, always wanted to do the Nationals, it just didn't work out, life happened and took some time off from the gym, took some time off from competing and uh, so, so this is it, I'm really excited and, and can check this off my list as far as going to the Nationals, so I'm excited about that and really happy to have uh, the opportunity to work with Tony Racanelli because he's, he's done a great job with my contest prep and i um, very excited about that too. I went to my first bodybuilding competition when I was, uh, as a spectator, when I was 15. I went to the Miss International in Columbus, Ohio. I saw uh, Juliette Bergman. I loved her legs and I, I just always wanted to have legs like that. I was very skinny, petite uh, as a teenager, as a kid, always very tiny. And um, I saw her legs and I just was like, wow, I just want her legs. I was also a competitive gymnast. And when Mary Lou Retton came on the scene, she had those big old quads, and I just I started doing leg extensions. I couldn't wait to get some big quads, um, and I just you know always had an interest from the time I was 15, and um, just always wanted to do it. I had the opportunity to uh, start training, um, and had an actual trainer when I was 24. I think when I really got into it, um, trained with a trainer in Columbus, Ohio, for several years, and started competing. I did powerlifting. I was a Ohio Open overall powerlifting champion, um, 
and then went on to bodybuilding. I was Ohio State uh, bodybuilding champion in uh, 1999. Um, after I got out of the scene in, in 1999, I uh, had, a, had a daughter and I went back to school, went to grad school in my 30s and got a um, master's degree in psychology and planned, uh, my plan was to go that route and I was actually in private practice as a licensed psychotherapist and doing the training thing on the side. I always had the, the training thing going on the side as far as the business was concerned, um, but, but really didn't expect to be where I am today. It was, it was pretty amazing when I look back because um, it wasn't my plan, but, but it was God's plan obviously for me to be where I am today. And um, when I met Dave and, and things just started progressing and, and we started to get back into the sport and you know, I've, I've never been around, you know, a better bodybuilder. Um, he's amazing and um, he's been my inspiration these last few years to, to give it a shot again. And his support and, and encouragement for me to do this this year just, it means the world to me. Um, because I really never thought I would, never thought I would do it again. And, and on top of it, to get to do the Nationals which was my dream in 1999 that, that never happened. I, it's it's kind of overwhelming, really. And um, again, just, you know, he's inspired me to, to do this and just watching him and his success over the last few years and, and just how well he does it. He, I've never seen anyone uh, prep like he does. I've never seen anyone, you know, just, just get after it the way he does. So it's really inspired me and, um, and your, your support means the world to me. I've always been a competitive bodybuilder, um, although it's been 12 years since I was on the bodybuilding stage. I'm gonna do the Southeastern USA next weekend. Uh, first time doing my bodybuilding since 1999. So first of all, I'm gonna go through some of the bodybuilding poses and then I'm also planning to go right on to uh, the physique di division at the Nationals. So I'll show you some differences with some of those poses. For bodybuilding, it's more muscular, vascular, striated, harder look. Um, the front double bicep. For bodybuilding, it's closed fist. For physique, everything's open. For bodybuilding, a lat spread here. Side chest. Again, bodybuilding, closed fist, more muscular, harder look. Physique, leg extended, hands out, more feminine, more pretty look. Bodybuilding tricep or here. And physique, same thing, leg extended. The bodybuilding is back double by, closed fist. For physique, we have it open. Lat spread for bodybuilding. And then we do ab shot. Same thing for physique and bodybuilding here. So physique is just a, a prettier, longer lines, a little softer look. So when I come in for the nationals and the physique, I'll have a little bit of a softer look than next weekend for the bodybuilding. So excited about that.